Coming in or going out? References? Your preference? It's beautiful. Hey, Tom. Hi. This is Tom Lincoln. He likes to come to a lot of our events and film pretty much everything. Oh, okay. Is that a fair statement, Tom? Yes, that's a very fair statement, sir. I mean that in a respectful, complimentary way. Thank you. How much I'm with video you have the your house, by the way. Huh? How much footage you must have just oodles of tapes lying around your house? Uh, probably close to 15,000 hours. I would say so, yeah. I mean, literally, Tom comes to all our events and films everything. So. Yeah, that's cool. Now, before we, um, yeah, before we start filming, did you see the Times and the Tribune articles again? I did. Okay, because I got to say, Tribune got it right. The Times, I called the reporter and had yeah. a little word of prayer and just said, you didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get it right. Um, it wasn't as whole. Actually, I won't tell you what I said because it wasn't very nice. Um, it was wholly inaccurate. I mean, the following, why, what the phrase I uttered was, I'd even been contacted by the Wall Street Journal, a reporter from the Wall Street Journal, who kind of was implying this was this big publicity was, media stunt thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm attributed to saying that. Yeah. So I called her, Dave, to camp up. And I said, Dave, no, what I, that's not what I said. And so we had a little. Well, you know, my only question for you is, I mean, what, you know, what parameters do you have to look at before you decide, okay, this neighborhood gets its own precinct, that neighborhood gets its own precinct, and where does it draw people from? It's, it's based on, it's a needs-based okay. scenario, and I'll go on camera yeah. and talk about that, but that's exactly what it is. It's not based on, actually, as the gentleman from the Wall Street Journal said, so if I had, his name was Mike Cogman, if I had Mike's uh, poker, club and I had 20 people going to have a polling place, you wouldn't arbitrarily say, okay, well, Mike's poker. I said, exactly. It's needs-based based on geography and, 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 and population. Yeah. And, and the irony is the folks, they vote um, just down the road about half a mile at the club. Oh, really? It's, it's, yeah, so. But they, they asked me and I told them that the rule of thumb in this business is you don't generally tinker with polling places until after reapportionment right, unless you have right. to. Yeah. Unless it's out of necessity. So okay. that's pretty much just about and reapportionment <coughs> happens in 2010? It'll happen after the 2010 elections. Okay. It'll be in okay. the next, next okay. four years, next term. So they wouldn't even get one until 2012 then? Uh, yeah, it, would, it wouldn't. any polling place change wouldn't be considered until after reapportionment, yeah. okay. unless it's needs-based. That's yeah. why we're on the same camera. So. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Here we go. So when you make decisions as to whether to move a precinct, uh, add a precinct, what are the parameters that you consider to say, okay, we need a new one at this point? Well, short of uh, making point place changes before reapportionment or redistricting, it's needs-based, based on, on population and out of necessity. If a particular polling place were to say, we can't, you, you're not allowed to utilize our facility more for whatever reason, oftentimes churches will, will operate uh, elderly nutrition programs and can't utilize us for a polling place. So it's a needs-based decision based, and a secondary from that's based on uh, needs such as population, of course, growth and whatnot. So prior to redistricting, it's considerably uh, it's a needs-based scenario. At the moment, does it appear as though there is a sufficient population base in this one area to justify something, or would you have to, for example, include this with other uh, subdivisions in the general area? No, you're absolutely correct. B based on the, the the growth in that area, um, the residents. I would vote, they currently vote about a half mile away. Uh, I was contacted by the marketing director and just asked the question, would you consider us being a uh, polling place? And I told them that's something I couldn't even consider right now, that I, that would be more appropriate. Any polling place changes other than uh, a needs-based decision until after redistricting, and that's how we left it. And I would assume that just given the uniqueness of this particular resort and the place that people live, you'd probably want to get the input of the folks, say, across the street who might all of a sudden find themselves voting there as opposed to down the street. That is that is true. And also, I think it's fair to note that any polling place changes that were to make as of, say, today uh, would require, per Florida statute, approval from the Board of County Commissioners. So that's something that the board, Pasco County Board of County Commissioners would have to uh, have input, out, input on ultimate approval on for me to make any polling place changes as well. So it would fall on that as well. At the moment, is there a certain, like, minimum is there a certain minimum uh, population, for example, that, okay, uh, you need X number of people to justify opening a new polling place? There's no particular uh, 
actual magic number or litmus. It's based on common sense and, and, and what is just a needs based. And the best example I can give you was we had had a church which had been precinct seven, and we weren't able to use them anymore. And the only polling place I could find in that area had been at that time Wesley Chapel Toyota, which was closer to right near 54 and 75. The problem is that that particular precinct had uh, the, the geographic size of it would have necessitated voters coming from, from the New River, which is borderline Zephyr Hills, traveling all a, a very long distance on a very congested road. So that I made a decision based on the need to split that precinct and, and create Precinct 154, a new one, which is closer to Zephyr Hills, to, to make it easier for voters to access the polling place, a geographic population needs-based decision. So that's how I make those sort of decisions. Awesome. Okay. Can we get a cut shot real quick? Sure. Fine, right, stage, stage <coughs> that. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, it would be it would be interesting to see if all of a sudden, you know, your polling place got moved there, because there is a big subdivision <coughs> right across the street from there. It's a huge one, so. and just literally just up the road is the Groves, yeah. uh, Precinct 70, and uh, they have ample their their clubhouses, ample room. Yeah. Um, they're they're just and I, and they called and asked and said they want to be the first nude polling mm -hmm. place in America. I think, uh, to, out of respect for them, I believe that where they're coming from, uh, they want to literally be their own entity polling right, place where right. they would have outside people coming in. Right. And I believe, I know when they called me, I'd asked, I, I want to say there's about 300 residents. Mm -hmm. um, now we do have a very, very small precinct in, in Longleaf, um, but not quite that small. Yeah. So. Answer your questions? Yes. Brian, um, yes. what was it that the New York Times misquoted you about something? Well, we'll talk about that later, Tom. Let's get these folks out of here first. Do you, do you have anything else? Nope. Okay. So, well, always you. a pleasure. We gotta stop me like this, fellas. All, All right. right. Make, behave yourself, guys. All right. Be safe. See ya. Okay. <coughs> see, I have to be ringed. See, this proves I have to be ringed in myself. <laughs> That's right. No, the, and real quickly, Tom, I need to get back in. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank, Thank um, you. But it had to do with the the uh, publicity, the. Uh, the press release that went out because I did get a call from, from a Wall Street Journal reporter about the story. I thought how far reaching that press release was. Apparently, Colin did a press release and it must have been national because for the, generally you don't get calls from the Wall Street Journal no, for don't. elections related issues. That was unusual. So that's what I mean by that. So. Oh. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Fixed as in spayed and neutered, probably, right? right. <laughs>